Hey guys, it's Amber and I'm back with a new video. I know it's been a really long time since I've been on here. Um, there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on, um, remodeling, um, and just life in general. But um, my goal is really to try to post one video a week. I'm going to really try to stick to that and we'll see how it goes. Um, this video is going to be um, the first part of a series that I wanted to do of the top five. So it'll be, today will be the top five um, primers, top five foundations, eyeliners, lipsticks, um, and so forth. So if you guys want to see this video, um, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up, stay tuned and keep watching. All right guys, so I'm gonna go in no particular order and these are primers. I have oily to compost skin, so these are going to um, be for that type of skin. Um, and I have larger pores, so some of these are going to be mattifying, while others are going to be pore filling. Some are both, so um, we'll just go ahead and kick it off with the first one. The first one is Dr. Brandt's Pore No More. Pores No More. And it is a pore refiner primer. It says minimizes the look of pores, absorbs oils, and mattifies shine. And I really like this one. Um, um, it doesn't fill in the pores a lot like, you know, um, it more smooths them over. So what I like to do is do more of an actual like thicker one to fill the pores and then smooth this one over. And it does a really good job on um, my foundation always looks really good after I use this one and um, I really recommend it. The next one I like to use for um, really mattifying the skin and this is Urban's Decay D-Slick. I'm almost gone. Ooh, I don't want it to run out so I use this one when I really know that I'm going to be oily, if I'm going to be outside at, um, and any long periods of time where I'm going to have my makeup on for a long time and I need it to stay matte. This is the one that I use for that. So again, this one mattifies, but it really doesn't smooth or fill in pores, but it really mattifies. Next one is Cover FX. Is it if you can see that. And it is the blurring primer. Um, this one is one of the thicker consistencies that really, I tap it into the pores and kind of smooth it. So I'll go tap, 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 and then smooth. And it really does fill in those pores, smooths it out. Um, I wouldn't say this one is mattifying. It might look matte at first, but I do not think it keeps you matte throughout the day. So this one I really use to just blur the pores, fill them in, and smooth them out. Um, the next one that I've had for a while and I really like um, is the One Heck of a Blot. Uh, this is a, I think it's a mix between. It is a thicker primer and it is pretty similar to the Urban Decay. So I use this one when I don't want to use this one up. Um, it does a good job of mattifying the skin and um, it does fill in the pores slightly. Um, it keeps you matte, but um, it says shine block for 12 hours. Um, I wouldn't say 12 hours, I'd say a little bit shorter than that, but it does do a good job. Finally, the last one uh, is L'Oreal's Revitalift Blur, Miracle Blur. And this one, um, does fill the pores in again. Um, so I will fill the pores in. Um, actually, I will use a mattifying one first and then fill the pores in with this and smooth it over like I do kind of this one. So I will go back and forth between these two. I usually go back and forth between those two. And this one I use, I'm trying to think, um, what I'm, not going to be too too oily um, and this one like I said most of them I use this one by itself so that's the reason why I really like this one this one's a catch-all um, 
Let me know your thoughts on these five products and what your favorite primers are, what type of skin you have, um, and if you um, have any that I didn't show here, let me know. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.